In this video, we'll be learning about simple probability, sample spaces, and the complement rule. Probability can be defined as the chance that an event will occur. This is equal to the total number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. For example, if we flip a coin, what are the chances of getting head? Most people know that the answer is 50%, but how did they get that number? To show you, we will use the formula. The favored outcome is getting head. This counts as a total of one outcome. Now when you flip a coin, there are two possible outcomes. You can get either heads or you can get tails. Therefore, there are a total of two possible outcomes. As a result, the probability of getting head is 1 divided by 2, which is equal to 0.5 or 50%. Conversely, the probability of getting tails would also be equal to 0.5. Now if I flip the same coin two times, what would be the probability of getting heads twice? Since we already know that the probability of getting one head is 0.5, the probability of getting two heads is just 0.5 times 0.5, which is equal to 0.25 or 25%. The reason why we can multiply these two numbers together is because they are independent events, but we will touch on that in the next video. We can also solve this problem using a different method. Another way of solving probabilities is by creating something called a sample space. A sample space refers to the entire set of possible outcomes. Since we are flipping the same coin twice, the sample space of interest would be observing zero heads, observing one head, or observing two heads. Note that it is impossible for us to observe three or more heads because we are only flipping the coin twice. We can also draw out the sample space for flipping the coin twice. For the first flip, we can get either heads or tails. Then from each of these possible outcomes, we would perform a second flip, in which the coin can again land on heads or tails. This is the complete sample space diagram. From this diagram, we can determine the possible outcomes and the probability for each outcome. We can find the possible outcomes by following each arrow. For example, one outcome could be getting heads on the first flip and then getting tails on the second flip. We can therefore write this outcome as HT. Another outcome could be getting tails on the first flip and then getting tails on the second flip. We would then write this outcome as TT. If we do this for each outcome, we get the sample space for tossing two coins, and we see that there are a total of four possible outcomes. Now to determine the probability of these outcomes, all we have to do is multiply the probability of each event together. We know that the probability of getting heads is 0.5, and we know that the probability of getting tails is also 0.5. For the first outcome, we have HH. So we will have 0.5 times 0.5, which is equal to 0.25. This means that the probability for the outcome of getting two heads is equal to 0.25. For the second outcome, we have HT. The probability of getting heads is 0.5, and the probability of getting tails is also 0.5. Multiplying these two together, and we get 0.25. This means that the probability for the outcome of getting heads and then tails is equal to 0.25 or 25%. We are essentially doing the same thing for the rest of these outcomes. A common exam question might be, what is the probability of getting at least one tail if a coin is tossed two times? The first step is to calculate the probabilities of each outcome, which we have done already. The next step is to look at your outcomes and highlight the ones that have at least one T. This means we should highlight the ones that have at least one tail, or two tails. Now all we have to do is add up the highlighted probabilities to get the answer, and when we do, we get an answer of 0.75. Before we continue to the last part of the video, let's quickly recap. We define probability as the total number of favorable outcomes divided by the total number of possible outcomes. However, we can properly write this as the probability of event A occurring is equal to the total number of outcomes in A divided by the total number of outcomes in the sample space. And to find the probability of two events happening together, all we have to do is multiply the probability of the first event by the second event. This can be written as the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. As I mentioned before, you can only use this formula if they are independent events, but you will learn about this in the next video. For now, let's talk about some probability rules. With any probability question or problem you might encounter, you'll notice that they always satisfy two conditions. 
The first condition is that the probability of an event occurring always has a value between 0 and 1 inclusive. For example, a probability of 0 means that the event will never occur. A probability of 1 means that the event will always occur. And a probability of 0 0.5 means that the event is expected to occur 50% of the time. The second condition that must be satisfied is that the probabilities of all outcomes must always add up to 1. For example, if we flip a coin, we know that there are two outcomes, getting heads or getting tails. We know that the probability of getting heads is 0 0.5, and the probability of getting tails is also 0 0.5. If we add these up, we get a value of 1, which satisfies this condition. If we extend this further and flip a second coin, adding up all the probabilities still gives us a value of 1. By knowing this mandatory condition, we can derive something called the complement rule. This rule says that the probability that an event does not occur is equal to 1 minus the probability that it will occur. The formula for this rule can be written as so, where you have the probability of complement A, in other words, the probability of event A not occurring, is equal to 1 minus the probability of A. So for example, if we flip two coins, what is the probability of not getting two tails? Since we've worked with this example already, we already know the outcomes and the probabilities. Now let's use the formula. The complement of A, in other words, the probability of not getting two tails, is equal to 1 minus the probability that it does happen. So it will be equal to 1 minus the probability of getting two tails. The probability of getting two tails is 0 0.25. So 1 minus 0 0.25 gives us an answer of 0 0.75. As a result, the probability for the outcome of not getting two tails is equal to 0 0.75 or 75%. Obviously, we didn't have to use the complement rule to solve this problem. We could have just added together all the probabilities of the outcomes that didn't include two tails. So we could have written that the probability of not getting two tails is equal to the probability of getting two heads, plus the probability of getting heads, then tails, plus the probability of getting tails, then heads. Adding these probabilities together also gives us an answer of 0 0.75. As you can see, there are many ways to solve probability questions. Just use the method that works best for you. If you found this video helpful, consider supporting us on Patreon to help us make more videos. You can also visit our website at simplelearningpro.com to get access to many study guides and practice questions. Thanks for watching.